September 20th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Hebrews chapter 4 from the New Testament. Therefore, we must be wary that while the promise of entering his rest remains open, none of you may seem to have come short of it. For we had good news proclaimed to us just as they did, but the message they heard did them no good, since they did not join in with those who heard it in faith. For we who have believed enter the rest, as he has said, as I swore in my anger, they will never enter my rest. And yet God's works were accomplished from the foundation of the world. For he has spoken somewhere about the seventh day in this way, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. But to repeat the text cited earlier, they will never enter my rest. Therefore it remains for some to enter it, yet those to whom it was previously proclaimed did not enter because of disobedience. So God again ordains a certain day, today speaking through David after so long a time, as in the words quoted before, O oh, that today you would listen as he speaks, do not harden your hearts, for if Joshua had given them rest, God would not have spoken afterward about another day. Consequently, a Sabbath rest remains for the people of God. For the one who enters God's rest has also rested from his works, just as God did from his own works. Thus, we must make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one may fall by following the same pattern of disobedience. For the word of God is living and active and sharper than any double-edged sword, piercing even to the point of dividing soul from spirit and joints from marrow. It is able to judge the desires and thoughts of the heart. And no creature is hidden from God, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest incapable of sympathizing with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in every way just as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and find grace whenever we need help. God, thank you for allowing us to have the type of relationship with you where we can, of course, with reverence, come before you with anything and everything. You know, sometimes... I know this is a little bit odd, but sometimes we honestly think that you can't see what's in our heart and our mind or even our life. Um, and sometimes we try and hide those things uh, and we can deceive a lot of people that way, but we can't deceive you. But you say, come to me confidently. Approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and find grace whenever you need help. God, how incredible to always have that open communication with you that you love us so much that you already know what we have done or already know what we've not done and yet you still say just come to me I just want to give you grace I just want to give you mercy I just want to give you a big hug and tell you it's okay I've got this God I know that we don't deserve this type of relationship with you especially uh, with our day-to-day -day interactions actions uh, choices, lack of choices, for all that you've commanded us, and yet you still open up your arms and say, come to me confidently, please come to me without worry. I want you to confidently come to me so that you can receive my grace and my mercy. It's almost like when I was little and I did something wrong, I obviously didn't want to tell my parents because I knew the next thing was I was going to get yelled at. <laughs> I was going to be in trouble. And there was never any confidence of going to my parents with those type of things, obviously, because there were immediate repercussions. And I'm not saying there's not uh, discipline with you. Discipline because you obviously love us just like our parents did. But there's so much grace and so much mercy and so much comfort when you wrap your arms around us and say, I know, I know you did something wrong. I know that you're far away from me. I know that this isn't easy. I know you're really angry. Let me show you my love. Let me show you how much I love you. God, we don't get that from anybody here on earth. We have 
some people in our lives who might possibly do um, kindness towards us and show us some grace and mercy, but we will never receive anywhere close to what you are offering us to in confidence us who are mere hum humans to come before your throne and receive grace and mercy. God, your love for us still baffles me to no end, but I am truly thankful for it. In your son's name I pray. Amen.